so we drove here um, from Des Moines, Iowa, and we made the eight-hour trip all the way here to the Children's Hospital at OU Medical Center here in Oklahoma City. The reason we came here with, with Miles is that, you know, we had been in the trenches with Dr. Burkhardt, and the only person I was gonna hand him over to was Dr. Burkhardt, and so, quite honestly, it didn't matter if he was in Oklahoma City or if he was in, on Mars, that's where we were gonna go. Ava, Miles' older sister, was born a twin in 2012, and she was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. I uh, did a, a, a very complicated operation on her. That should be uh, enough for one family to have to, you know, to endure. But uh, fast forward five years later, Miles is born and has a very similar anatomy, has a hypoplastic left heart syndrome variant, and, and we're kind of back in, in the same situation again. If we can prove that putting a baby's own cells or their umbilical cord cells back into the heart muscle and it stimulates the heart muscle to grow and multiply in number, if we could prove that it's helpful and it's safe, that could help a lot of children who have weak hearts. When we found out that Miles also was going to have HLHS, um, that was one of the big things that I really wanted to do everything we could to make sure that he could participate in the clinical trial. Collecting the cord blood at birth, it's a really amazing thing to think about and I'm, I'm so thankful that he was able to participate in that. It can really change the face of how we help to treat these kids. We're doing something that we hope this could be the wave of the future or the future for some of these children. We are very fortunate. We have a group of supportive people, not only myself and Dr. Thompson, but the cardiologists and the intensivists and the neonatologists. We're all very supportive of the idea that if somebody has a chance, even though it's a very small chance, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna give it our all, and we're the only place in the state that has all that and can provide children with the best possible chance for a good outcome. I really want to thank, you know, Dr. Burkhart, Dr. Thompson, the nurses, and the individuals on, you know, the PICU and the floor. I mean, it really takes a village to care for these children. The two of them, you know, truly are a dream team for our son.